We are going to learn how to promote a Windows Server 2025 data center to become our first domain controller. So I've installed this Windows Server 2025 as you can see and I've also changed the computer name to become DC01 and again we've also assigned a static IP address to this device and here you can see the IP version 6 is enabled but We've, we did not assign a static IP address, but you can as well disable the IP version 6 um, address, which of course is not necessary for your data center. So what I need to do is to go to my dashboard and here we need to click the add roles and future. You can see in the, before you begin in the add roles and future wizard, you can always keep this by default, but I'm going to click next. Here is going to be a role based or future based installation, but you can also do, do a remote desktop service installation. So it's install the, squad, the install required, required roles service for virtual desktop infrastructure. But we are going to go for the first option and then click next. Here we only have one device. This is which is our first DC01, which is our domain controller. So I'm going to select a server from the server pool, uh, pool or we can select a virtual hard disk. But I'm going to click next. And here is what, where we are going to select the Active Directory Domain Service. I'm going to select that. And you can see all the different features that will be added to it. I'm going to say Add. And also, we want to also make the uh, domain controller our DNS server. Server. If you are working in a very big company or in a big enterprise organization, definitely they may have different DNS server than the domain controller. But because this is a test environment, I'll be adding my my domain controller is going to be also functioning as my dns server so i'm going to click next here i'm just going to leave this for now and then we can also include in the later on we can actually decide to add some other features for example you want to uh, configure branch cache bit locker and every other options you can see we have a lot of options here so i'm going to click next and then click next for the dns server i'm going to just can as well read this and then click next so now we cannot check and if you can actually check we can also export the configuration settings we can specify an alternative source path so i'm just going to click install so this first of all there are two options it's going to actually install all the different features and roles and then we cannot promote the server to become our domain controller so let's just wait for the installation installation to complete and then we can promote our server so here we go. You can see that it says the future installation have been completed. And you can see we have a kind of a yellow check mark here which says we also we need to complete some other configuration. So we have the option to actually click promote the server to a domain controller or we can click there. So I'm going to say promote the server to become a domain controller. And let's just wait. And it, now we have different options. It says add a domain controller to an existing domain. So we don't have an existing domain, so we are not adding a domain controller to an existing domain. Add a new domain to an existing forest, we are not doing that. We are adding a new forest. So I'm going to say add a new forest. Here I'm going to go for the following. So let me just use the Kelv Global ICT.com. So we're going to be using the following domain name, which is the Kelv Global ICT. So it's going to be a, the root domain is going to be a .com and not a dot be or dot um, it or if you're living in italy or belgium and things like that you can also use a different domain name so let me just click next for that here you see it says um we're going to go for the forest functional level you can see it's selecting 2025 but and also we have the domain uh, we can always go for the uh, 2016 and here you can see we can also see the domain functional level we can always go for the 2016 but because i'll be using 2025 i'm just going to leave it for that and also specify domain controller contributes so we can see we're selecting the domain name system which have already been installed and then we need to enter a password And then click next. Here you, you're going to receive a kind of a yellow check mark, which is okay. You can click show more to see the message which is being displayed, kind of a warning message. So let's just click next. And it's going to verify the NetBIOS name to see if it has already been used. 
so i think we are free to go so i can now click next and here the database folder the log file uh, files folder and the size full folder can be changed so we can actually just click here for example to refer to for example if you have a network share if you have a different uh, for example a file server you can always put your database folder to that server but for this purpose i'm going to select the default and then click next and here you can see all the information we can as well click view script you can see the script we can actually copy the script to use it to deploy a new server but i'm just going to close that for now and then click next it's going to do the prerequisite check to see if all is okay if not you'll be receiving an error message which will actually tell you what where the problem is you will need to actually go and verify so right now you can see it is all green this is just a yellow kind of a warning but it is a standard message that you received so now we need to click install and this is going to take some few minutes definitely after installation your server will restart and then we are going to log on to our first domain controller here we go you can see that my server is actually trying to restart right now which is a standard process so when your server is restarting please don't shut down the server just wait for it to get restarted and then the installation process will continue and you will log on to the server as in a domain controller environment not in a standalone environment so now how our device has restarted so let's try to log on to our device you can see right now i'm logging on to this device as a cal scale global ict which is of course my domain name so let me try to log on and see so it's trying to log me on so after logging on to your device what you want to verify is the local server here if i go to local server you can see that my computer name still remain the same my domain name is kelvglobalict.com and you can see our ip address did not change but please don't forget to always assign a static ip address to your domain controller or even your domain servers because assigning a, allowing the dhcp server to assign an ip address to your server may cause you a lot of issues because when for example your file servers or your dns servers or other servers try to contact the domain controller and the ip address change there may be an issue for your users trying to retrieve their files so that's why it is actually very very important and compulsory actually a microsoft microsoft best policy to assign a static ip address to your domain controller and here also you can see if i go to dns you can see this is also functioning as a dns server and don't forget to reinstall the vmware tools on this device you can see that the resolution also changed during the installation already um promoting our server to become a domain controller so the resolution of the screen also changed thank you very much for taking your time to watch this video and please if you are watching this video to the end don't forget to like and subscribe to my youtube channel to help me also grow my channel and also please leave a comment if you have any question i'll be willingly to, uh, to answer your question as quick as possible and also if you are trying to become an it system administrator or it service desk engineer and you need someone to mentor you you can al always reach out to me and i can be of great assistance to you i've been working in the it field for the past 12 years so i have all the required skills and knowledge to assist you to become that it system administrator you've ever dreamt of becoming Thank you very much for watching my video and please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the like button. Bye.